Fortune has not favoured an Australia side in transition as they head into their third consecutive World Cup. They fitted against both 2010 finalists Spain and the Netherlands in Group B alongside Chile. Qualification saw them finish behind Japan with several late goals salvaging some face-saving scorelines. Former under-20s boss Ange Postacoglu is Australia's first homegrown coach for almost a decade, following domestic A-League success with Brisbane Roar. Back-to-back 6-0 friendly defeats against Brazil and France spelt the end for previous coach Holger Osiek in October, despite securing qualification. And Socceroos bosses are backing the Greek-born Postacoglu to develop young prospects and build for the future. There's some enormous challenges there. The, the teams, uh, the nations we have to face are amongst the best in the world. All three of those have expectations to get through to the next round. Um, so that's the kind of calibre of opponent we're going to be facing. But at the same time, um, there will be enormous pressure on them to beat us. And, uh, and from my perspective, that's what we'll use to our advantage. Many of Australia's so-called golden generation, including Harry Kuehl, Mark Schwarzer and Brett Emerton, have recently hung up their international boots. But Tim Cahill is aiming for his third World Cup. Two goals in a recent friendly against Ecuador made him Australia's all-time leading goalscorer, including three strikes in World Cup finals. It's a dream come true, I think, you know, just to play for your country is one thing, but obviously to break this record is, is something that I want to go on and, you know, achieve more. Australia's opener against Chile will be key to deciding things as the two Group B underdogs face off in the Amazon jungle before heading south to face the Netherlands and Spain. Um, you know, the first game in any World Cup, any major tournament's important, and they're a good side, obviously, you know, they're, they're a quality outfit, but we're in a tough group with playing against quality teams, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll be ready, as I keep saying. Australia will be well supported in Brazil, with an estimated 6,000 fans making the trip. Anything other than a first-round exit could spark an unforgettable World Cup party.